Good morning, good morning, good morning again, folks. Yes, I know it says 1239, but I'm putting these out in the morning, so deal with it. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Spilling Tea. I'm your host, Tiffany Daniels, and we're going to that horrible world known as the JRC. But before we do the usual disclaimers, I'm going to jump right into it, folks. I've probably already got off my chest the stupidity from this morning and why I love my neurodiverse community so much. So let's jump into it, shall we? In the description box, you're going to find a link to the article that the Judge Rotenberg Educational Center doesn't want you to read. It's written by Neuroclastic, a small non-for-profit started by Autistics for Autistics, wherein they interviewed and surveyed over 900 ABA professionals in regards to the JRC's quote-unquote behavioral modification program. Matter of fact, the JRC doesn't want you reading this article so much. They have threatened Neuroclastic with a defamation lawsuit if they do not remove it from the website. Neuroclastic has refused. So you know the drill, folks. Please read that article and share it on all your social media. We also have the pertinent links to the Agape Boarding School situation. Agape Boarding School is a Christian-themed boarding school based out of Stockton, Missouri, that has and pending over 21 claims, allegations, and civil lawsuits leveled against it, all substantiated by the Missouri Department of Social Services, and they include sodomy, rape, sexual assault, child abuse, psychological and emotional abuse, child trafficking and starvation, and we're just scratching the surface. You've had one former staff member arrested by the FBI, another a doctor who's still on the premises, with full access to the boys up on multiple, again, substantiated claims of sodomy, rape, and child abuse against the boys there. You have an Attorney General Eric Schmidt. He's too busy trying to go after poor Dr. Fossey, Fauci and is instead, you know, ignoring the boys at the Agape Boarding School instead of going after invisible strawmans. And then you got a governor up on a fucking power trip from hell. So please share those articles on all your social media. Don't forget to sign and share the change.org shut agape boarding school down petition. We got the pertinent links to the Stop the Shocks campaign, including Autistic Hoya's massive archive on the subject, Jennifer Masamba's behavioral sheet of shockable offenses, a clip out of the seven hour ordeal under gone by Andre McCollins in 2002 for the sin of refusing to remove his coat, the templates, and the ever-present self-explanatory change.org shut the Judge Rotenberg Center down petition. When we discuss the JRC, you're going to hear vivid descriptions of and catch clips of surveillance footage of people with, with disabilities being tortured and abused. If you've got young children present, please use your headphones. This channel is marked not for children for a reason. We talk about we use profanity and we talk about dark subjects. If your child is 16 and younger, parental supervision is advised. It is 1242. I am a little bit more awake, but I still may stumble over my words because let's face it, we're dealing with Matthew Israel. So apologies for that. And trigger warning, we are about to descend into the mad ravings of a lunatic mind known as Dr. Israel. You're going to hear gaslighting, victim blaming. Abusive pungencia galore and ableism all over the place, as well as out and out lies. So, you know, be prepared for that, right? Okay, let's go into where we left off. Warehousing, what Dr. Israel says he doesn't do. Sure, sure, yeah. Warehousing, this refers to simply allowing the problematic behaviors to occur and not making a major effort to change them. If taken to the extreme, this means simply providing food, clothing, shelter, and warmth and allowing the individual to continue his or her destructive behaviors unabated and without treatment. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's a prevalent thing in our society. You've got holier-than-thou, savior complex fucking neurotypicals out there who's saying... Well, if you accept it, you're just not trying any hard enough. You're not, you're just giving up. Fuck's sake, Karen. This isn't cancer. Okay? I don't have a fatal disease that if I don't get treatment for, I'm going to fucking die. Okay? Well, you're just, you're just kidding with your own behavior. 
glad to see your fucking grade on my personality, Karen. Maybe you should go look in the mirror and take a look at yours. Okay. You neurotypicals are not exempt from the fucking weird shit meter alright? I've been a people observer since I was a kid, and some of you are fucking nuts. It's not our community that has this celebrity worship culture. That's you. That's you fuckers. You do that. The autistic community did not create this idea of trying to get every single personal detail about some celebrity stranger we never met. That's you fucking people. You do that. We don't stalk for these people. We don't care. That's you folks. You all are the weird stalker ass people who think that you deserve to know the smallest details of some stranger's life. It's you fuckers who do this weird shit, okay? Y'all yeah, aren't special. Just know that. Know that, all right? You are not even remotely close to the first person who should be preaching to us about appropriate behavior. Okay? You people who would rather live on your lies and your fake, useless, empty niceties that accomplish nothing. But, but we're the weird ones and we have to change our behaviors and be like you. Have you met you? Have you all met yourselves? Yeah. You can take your idea of you just give up and shove it directly up your ass. I haven't given up on anything, Karen. I have just accepted who I am as an authentic, autistic human fucking being. I have accepted the fact that I don't have to bend over backwards and pretend to be somebody else in order to soothe you. I have accepted the fact that I'm going to deal with meltdowns for the rest of my life. They may be minimized, but they're going to happen. And I accept the fact that I'm going to need reasonable accommodations for the rest of my life. That, that this does not make me less as a person to need them. It is you, society, who thinks, but you should strive to be better where you don't need those things. Okay, okay. In that case, Karen, I want you to give up your car. You don't think that's a reasonable accommodation? It is. I'm going to tell you to give up your therapy. Don't think that's a reasonable accommodation? It is. You have to give up your cigarettes, your booze, your video games. And all the mindless shit that you have that gets you through the goddamn day. Because it would make me more comfortable. Right? Not fucking fair, is it? Yeah. You all have reasonable accommodations that get you all through the day, too. So tell me, why do I have to give up mine just because you don't understand them? I'm not giving up. I'm accepting reality. There's a very distinct fucking difference. You want to know how we get better? With you all assholes stopping assuming you know everything. Helping identifying the underlying triggering issues so that we are made fully aware of what they are and provide reasonable accommodations, self-soothing techniques, everything that we can to minimize them. But also accepting that there is no world that exists that I am ever going to be like you. Okay. <sighs> Isolation. Remember, free from isolation and restraint until you're not. The individual may be placed in a bare room alone for a long period of time. If an individual in such isolation room is not watched carefully, he or she could commit suicide. Oh, for fuck's sake.
fuck's sake. Why would anyone want to commit suicide when they're in the hellhole knowing that's the JRC? What list do you want? I've got all of them. Yeah. Alone time never worked for me because I crave that alone time. That is actually a part of my particular individual autistic makeup. I crave that alone time. I have a very desperate need for it. I need periods of the day where I'm not interacting with anyone. I need periods of the day where I'm left completely, utterly desolate of all human contact. Okay? Because such moments allow me to get myself together. It allows me to detox from the a whole fucking day of having to fucking mask. It gives me a chance to just be me in my space where there's no expectations on me. No neurotypical society basically forcing me to have a unhealthy case of self-loathing. No. I can just... I crave that time. So using that as a punishment is just stupid. Okay? Just stupid. Moving on. And by the way, folks, I have a lot of fellows who also need, actually need, in order to help us function and get through the day to have that alone time. Okay? It's not the fucking flex you think it is, Dr. Israel. Expulsion. If the program cannot handle the student, it may expel him or her and attempt to deliver the student back to the parent. Sometimes, however, the student is too violent to be able to return to his or her home, and the parents are with, left with no alternatives at all. Most people are unaware of the fact that many, if not most, programs that forswear the use of it versus do resort to this somewhat shameful practice. Oh, here the fuck we go again. <sighs> Doctor. Fucking really. Fucking really. This is the part where he wants to make us be completely violent, batshit insane, unfeeling sociopathic monsters. And he wants to drive that point home to you. And he's going to do it showing some of the worst bad acting I've seen in a good long time. Gotta love propaganda, right? When you are dealing with a kid that is so violent that nothing that JRC is doing is working, what even is the point? But we, we work on people who otherwise nothing would work. But we have those kids where it doesn't work. Dude. What did I tell you about those particular kids that nothing, no amount of torture is going to change, that it's who they are? This is what I'm talking about. So what is the point of sending them to you at all? But everything else has been tried, eh? You're full of shit. No, it hasn't. B, what was the point of torturing them in the first place? Okay? Doesn't make any sense, does it? Ugh. Talk about people who don't operate off of logic. Then they go and turn it around to point the finger back at the fucking public schools. Aren't you a fucking winner? Can I explain this again for the umpteenth time? The lowest funding programs, bar none fucking period in this country, is special ed. Okay? Okay. These teachers don't specialize because they don't have the fucking time, resources, or the ability to be able to. A lot of these teachers, especially in bigger school districts, you maybe got one, two if you're fucking lucky, teachers handling 
hundreds of fucking kids with disabilities in a single day. In a single day. You really think they're going to have the time to specialize in a particular area? They're going to do their best on the surface shit just to be able to help you cope. But oftentimes than not, when you've got that kind of fucking caseload on your hands, you're not going to be able to. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do at that point? Other than suggest homeschooling. By the way, if you want to talk about alternatives for autistics that have given some insane good statistics as to working very well and assisting with triggered behaviors that comes with the hell that is public school, homeschooling. It's actually quite prevalent. It got started in the 90s and it continues to do well. So something to think about, folks. Something to think about. You want to put the blame like, but but they forswear all aversives because we didn't punish you. Because they didn't beat you or shock you into fucking catatonia. That's why it didn't work. But sometimes it doesn't work for us either, but they're still the bad guy. Everyone else is the bad guy but the JRC. You see where this logic is? Sounds like AH, doesn't it? Yeah. What are we learning from this, folks, before we move on to this video? Matthew Israel has just systematically told us that he's guilty of all the things that he is pointing at other schools and institutions. But he's still being victim blamed, right? He's the victim, even though he's engaging in the same type of behaviors that he uses as selling points to get kids in his school. He's not actually freeing anyone except himself to, so he can do his bizarre fucking mingala experiments on us. As was once said in a very famous Charlie Chaplin film, the only one he ever spoke in, it's called The Great Dictator, and the best part of it is the speech at the end. And one of the parts of this speech, he says, dictators free themselves but enslave the people. Dr. Israel is my case in point. We're going to close out on that. We don't get very many views on this channel, especially on this subject. The few that we do get do tend to get removed from time to time. So please don't forget to hit the like button, hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit the comments. I do appreciate your time. As always, we here at Spilling Tea hope you have a good one. Bye-bye. See you in a few minutes.